Hey, it's Joe Glines from Automator, and in this video, I'm going to show you Edit Swap and what it does. It allows you to easily swap your default editor for AutoHotKey, and uh, you can get it from going going to the URL above me here. And also, I appreciate it if you would like this video; it really helps me get more views. So uh, please like the video, and let's jump into the script. Now, of course, I'm not actually demos going to walk through the code, but let me launch it. And here we can see I have a couple. Now, um, these are editors I've had as the default editor in the past, right? So it tracks, if you have the script running, it'll look and see what's been there before when you use this tool, right? And it'll say, oh, okay, let's swap it with this one or that one. So uh, right now, I think right now it's Notepad. I, let me let me hit my, let me close this. I have a hotkey because I have it built into most of my stuff, right? So Control-Alt-E will pull up my main uh, script. So it, right now, VS Code is the default editor. Oh, and actually I should have been able to see that um, Oh, actually, I don't have, it's funny, I don't have anything here, but in the code, which I was looking at a few minutes ago in the, the, the file um, here, in the this is your settings file, this will be on your computer after you run it. Uh, it, it shows you, here's the current one, right, this is the current one, and this is, the, of course, the registry, the path, the registry, and what it's going to set it. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's add a new one so I don't have Notepad++, right? So what I would do, because I don't, I don't use it much, but we did a couple webinars on it. I know it's very popular. Notepad... Notepad++. Plus plus. So what I need is the path. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to right click. However you want to get the path, right? You probably have a shortcut to whatever you want it with. But I want that path. Okay. And now let's come back into the editor. I'm going to say um, add new. Oh, what do you want to do? And then I'm just going to paste, right? Instead of navigating to it. This is why I like to find it and then just paste. So open. Um, and now it says, hey, uh, no the editor saved, uh, blah, blah, correctly. Okay, now what happens if I hit, well, let me close VS Code, not that that would matter. But now if I hit Control-Alt-E in mine, and that's a hotkey in mine, it'll open Notepad++ because that's the default editor. Uh, and obviously I haven't run it in a while. But uh, let's say I want to switch it back to Studio. And let's go to Notepad. Set selected. Okay, now Control-Alt-E. I don't even have to get out of it, right? It pops it right open. So again, this to me is really handy if you want to try out a new editor or let's say you're working on someone else's computer. And most editors like Studio, let me set Studio. No, you know what? Let me just, uh, let me exit out of it. So I'll show you in Studio. So this is AutoHotKey Studio. Um, I can bring up the Omni menu, which is Alt-M, and then it's SDE. So set default editor, right? I could type that all out, but the initials will help bring it up. If I do this, Studio will set itself if you do that. From memory, site for auto hotkey, when you install it, asks you, I think it asks you, it may do it by default, I can't remember. Um, if you want site for auto hotkey to be the default editor, it might just actually just do it, I don't recall. Uh, but that there's no way that I've seen where you can trigger that uh, inside site. So you can, you can set something Sort of, like in Studio, you can supply it, but I couldn't say, oh, now let me go make Notepad my default editor, right? It, it It's kind of problematic. So this helps negate a lot of that stuff, just makes it easy to, uh, let's go back. To, well, here, this is the tool, so I'm going to launch it. Um, and again, I could easily select something and set it, or add new. I can hit add new, and I'll put in that path to what I want, and that's it. So you can basically make any sort of, you know, editor, your default editor. Now, whether it has a IntelliSense, uh, highlighting IntelliSense and syntax highlighting and, and whatnot. So really quickly, my summary of my preferred editors is, um, or other recommendations I would give is if you're new to AutoHotKey, Site for AutoHotKey is a great editor. I used it for years. I still have it installed and I still use it daily, just not for programming on AutoHotKey. I use it for all every sort of other editing of other programming languages. And then uh, Auto Hockey Studio from Maestri is an amazing tool, very customized. It's built in Auto Hockey for Auto Hockey. Does amazing stuff. I love it. However, if you are working with other people and you're programming in a group, that's where VS Code is integrations with GitHub and allows you to easily push and pull from GitHub and do a lot of other stuff. Uh, it's it's more advanced. And each of those are a little more advanced, right? But VS Code, it's uh, it's got a lot of great things. You know, the the real benefit of it is if you're programming other languages, it handles a lot of other languages, just like Site does. Uh, studio, AutoHotKey Studio is just for AutoHotKey, but uh, I hope you enjoy this. Again, please like the video. It really helps me out. Cheers.